Okay, this is the skin. It's called the epidermis. That is the outside layer of skin, the skin surface. Cornified. It's all crunchy layer. Then you get down and they start to be these cells underneath, but they move upwards and then they slough off. Now let's show, I'm going to show you what other skin cells are. Remember this structural center and these grabby little things around it. That's, I believe that's interstitial. People pointing up at it. Thank you, we see it. Appreciate the picture. I get things sent to me all the time, and I don't even know who they're from, to be perfectly honest with you. And I get a lot of stuff off the internet, but it's valid. There's nothing, you know, I'm not being silly. That is that interstitial layer, and that gets, it can pull and stretch, and it will always come back. They're just like coiled springs everywhere. That's how it works. That's why you can, your, your body can flex and move and do all these fast, fa fabulous things. Absolutely amazing what the, the, the body is constructed of and how it is so magnificently coordinated. It is just fabulous. Now, uh, you should go on and go to Tyson's Mud Fossil Adventures very good stuff. He's got gigantic, gigantic, gigantic creature out there. <laughs> we were trying to figure out what it is. He's doing a study on it. He's like Mud Fossil West. Now, he's w w hooked up with Scott. Well, here's what happened. Scott Wiles got a hold of me. So here's a gigantic thing of what he didn't know what it was. And I looked at it and I said, gee, that looks like a tendon uh, emphasis. And, and it, it was. Uh, he sent me more stuff and I could easily tell after I got more stuff. But now Scott is heavily involved. Tyson ends up getting a hold of Scott because they're out in, both out in Oregon. So they go out and they check all this stuff out. So anyway, ends up Scott sends me this. And of course he sends the same stuff to Tyson. And um, I mean, that's skin. I mean, it's skin. This is what it is. And Tyson has it in so big of chunks that it's just absolutely... I mean, it's just mind-bending. Even for me, my mind is so bent already that I didn't think it could bend anymore. But I'm telling you, it's bending. So, we're getting together a pretty good crew all around the world. All around the world are, are people now that have taken an interest and they're starting to look. Nobody's really making anything happen about it yet, but it, it's going to become, um, like, like Tyson said, perfectly put. It's not going away. So get used to it. Now this was one uh, Sib Sibley sent me, human skin cells, skin cells under a microscope, and a man walking on skin cells. Well, those aren't really skin, well, they're skin cells, but they're inside your rectum. Those are rectum cells. This is the, one of these teeth looking things that are from this gigantic skin cell. Now we're going to come all the way out to the end. You see it out here? This is the surface. Now this is around one of these teeth. I'll show you the teeth in a second. But it's, it's, this is all biological. There's little black bits of vein blood here and there. And the red blood is, you know, primarily all over the edges here. And going down inside is red blood. And the yellow is, is um, sort of like blood that's changing in its chemistry. Now, this, oops, I mean this thing is very cool. Alright, that is all biology and those holes in there are what anchors this skin cell and this is a skin cell and it's not little. You see it? And I'm going to show you these teeth. You see these things? That's a tooth. Right? Well, I call it a tooth. It's not really a tooth. It's an anchor. Now, let's, go, let's look at it. Get a little light on here. And come on down this way. Hold on. We'll get there. Okay, there is the skin cell that I was just talking about. And that's one skin cell. Right. Just what I was showing in the leather belt. And this is how it grabs in, just like that. And I call them teeth, but they're not obviously not teeth. But they sure look like it, don't they? Now, and what they do is they grab in. Now, let's look at this. This way. OK. 
okay so you saw the teeth are out in the front here now this is the top of that skin cell now this one has a strap coming out this way you see it the strap comes out and it grabs that skin cell now I have one from Google Earth which is absolutely enormous and the center of it is eroded out but you can see the claws are absolutely flawless and this strap is perfect now I think this may be one of the this is there's another section over here where I believe this has a, is a two strapper some of them have two straps some of them have one strap some of them have multiple flails of straps hanging off them they do different jobs in different places in the body. That's just the nature of the skin. The skin, you have grip skin, you have fine skin, you have skin that they use as kale and clay to make fine chinas. Skin comes in a lot of different grades and varieties and some of it's very sandy. The stuff that they used to call old red sandstone, it's very gritty, it has a lot of minerals in it. So. There's a lot of different variation. This is a skin cell. Those things in the front were the teeth. Now let's check this out. <laughs> All right. I'm going to leave it at it. This is it. I mean, just look at it. What can I say? That's one of those skin tags. It's just like I showed you the one I have here. It has the center. It has the, the, the teeth all around. And that is skin. That right there is skin, my friend. You saw the stuff that uh, Scott Weil sent me. That is skin. It's skin. Now, above this was another layer which had a ton of little balls, I believe. And I'll show you places where that exists. I believe that is a giant skin cell. And that is from Beaumont, Bow Knot Bend, Spring Canyon. Now, I believe that is the, ten, the little spot in the center. And these are those grippers. Now, they erode just like mine eroded. All right, that thing there eroded just exactly the way this one has eroded. You see it? Cut down in that areas like that. So there's not much of a difference here. Uh, a little bit size difference. Now let me see if I can find the other one. I have another one. It's, it's unbelievable. Here. Alright, these are all the tendon balls eroded. If you can see below there, I've seen below, you know, I wasn't actually there, but I have seen what is below there. It's the skin. And those are the tendon balls. They were all laid in there with all the little straps. The straps have eroded and they turned into all this muddy looking stuff over here. And you have all the balls there. And that one there, I, I be honest with you, I don't really know, but I can see it has all the little gripper teeth all around. You see that hole? If you could see that, I don't know if you could see that or not, but you could actually see the little teeth running around in there. So I think this is just another style of skin investment, or it just eroded in such a manner as everything left and just left the, what they call, tuberosities. That's all I can say. <laughs> These are the same balls on Mars, and that's the same pattern of skin. You see these, they separate these patterns, the skins crack open like this on these separation plates. By the way, I don't know if I mentioned this, this uh, Scott Weil sent me this and um, he worked with Tyson out on the west coast. Scott's originally sold me, sent me something that was a picture of I determined it was a tendon antithesis and it was gigantic, absolutely blew me away. So Tyson saw it and he got involved, he ended up hooking up with Scott and they went out and started doing his research out there. Now Scott is down in Florida now, but Tyson is, is doing a fabulous work out there trying to put this together and figure out what kind of a creature it was just to put the whole thing together you know he's doing he's doing it as a as a, a study project absolutely fabulous so as far as i'm concerned he's mud fossils west and um, there is so much to learn from what he has right at his fingertips that it should not be missed all right <laughs> i mean it's, i mean what can you say it's everywhere and that was one skin, and that was on Mars, and this is gathered skin, and this is stretched skin. And that is normal skin. It will all return to that sort of pattern. Gathered, stretched, normal. 
The reason that is so finely abraded is that Mars doesn't have the water factor that we have. It has a lightly dusted surface and it's organic tissue. Alright, I hope this makes sense. In every one of these, I'm going to show you a bunch of different types of tissues. And in these tissues, there's different layers and they call them tunica and subserosa and all of this stuff and stuff. But if you see these little layers that are in here, those are the, the layers that, that they're the fabrics that construct your body. And all these different types of areas in your body have different types of tunica, they call it. Tunica subserosa, tunica adventitita. I mean, it's very, you know, this is about as serious as you can get as far as anatomy goes, as far as anatomy book. It, it, it's everything is extremely well broken down. So I think they've known about this, but they just never really associated it to an organ system, which is now called the interstitium. Also, Mars has what they call the Mars crab. It's not a crab, it's an arterial network that sends blood through the, the matrix here, which is primarily muscle. And all of this red eroded stuff of the red planet is blood vessels. And that's it right there. That's the, what is down there. Right above it is the vein. The vein doesn't have any of the crab legs. These legs go into this muscle fabric and send blood to service all that. It's dead. Once the blood dries out, it turns into red dust and piles up in vast quantities.